Assalamu alaikum students. How are you all? Welcome back to study time. So students, today we are going to learn class 1, maths, chapter number 1, shapes and space, part 3. Students, so our first topic is on, under. Do you know students, what is the meaning of on? On means upar and under means niche. If any object is kept on the top of another object and that object is touching to the surface also. So we say on. And if any object is kept below the another object. So, so we say under. Let's see with the examples. Look at this picture very carefully students. This book is kept on the table. And this bag is under the table understand students what is on and what is under very good so let's go for our next topic students our next topic is plain shapes do you know how many types of shapes are there let's see do you know students which which shape is this yes it's a circle and circle is round Let's see the examples. This lemon half and this clock are the example of a circle. Let's go for our next shape. Our next shape is this. It looks like a circle but it's not a circle. It's oval. Let's see the example of oval. This ball and this egg these are the example of a oval you know students which shape is this this is a rectangle let's see the example of rectangle this currency notes and this photo frame these are the example of rectangle so, I hope students to understand very nicely. So, students, our next topic is solid shapes. Do you know how many types of solid shapes are there? Let's see. So, students, let us explore the solid figures. The different types of solid figures are cube, Cuboid, cone, cylinder, and sphere. This is a cube, an ice cube, a cardboard box, a block are all example of a cube. This is a cuboid. A bus, a tiffin box, and a fish tank are all example of cuboid. This is a cone, an ice cream cone, a birthday hat, and a pencil tip are all example of a cone. This is a cylinder, a can, a drum and a mug are all example of a cylinder. This is a sphere, a basketball, an orange and a marbles are example of a sphere. So students, do you understand?